Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is April 10th, 2018. The videos we are about to view were obtained from the Federal Aviation Weather Cams in Alaska today, with each frame equal to 10 minutes. Our first video came from the East Facing Weather Cam located in Yukon River Bridge, Alaska. Can you see the red planet? It is made nearly transparent in the atmospheric chemicals. The chemical spraying over Alaska and Canada has increased dramatically over the past several days. Here's the planet. The east-facing weather cam in Wainwright, Alaska shows the bright pink airplane shape reflection on the far left edge of the screen. This is a reflection of the jet, which is not visible in this image. We will see the jet in a minute. The next frame shows the black dot in front of the sun very close to the Earth, emitting a black positioning indicator beam to the jet. We will look closer at the black dot in a minute also. The south-facing weather cam in Wainwright, Alaska, captured a red, fast-rotating crater-pocked planet rolling across the sky, which is now milky white with chemical spray. Look how dark it is in Unilockleet, Alaska, just before high noon on a cloudless day. Then, at a quarter after twelve noon, suddenly the sky and landscape brighten. The only thing that can cause this on a cloudless day is a solar eclipse. From the Tojiak, Alaska, east-facing camera, we see a red planet with incredible texture from huge craters. The contrast brings out its texture a little better. The southeast facing camera in Tojiak shows a faint planet. Some contrast helps to view it better. Can you see the planet which is nearly transparent from the atmospheric chemicals? Some contrast helps to bring this into view also. The southwest facing camera in Estradome, Alaska shows a planet traveling westward through the sky. A planet is visible in Shungnak, but very difficult to see without some added contrast. Here is another nearly invisible planet on the Shaktulik southeast facing camera. Some contrast makes it more visible also. Here's another airplane-shaped reflection of the jet from the east-facing camera in Sulawik. During an eclipse, this reflection is always in perfect alignment with the black dot in front of the sun and the eclipsing planet, which has been made nearly transparent in the atmospheric chemicals. Some contrast has been added to make the eclipsing planet show up better. The northeast facing weather cam in Minx Island shows the black dot reflecting upon the water. This reflection is visible to anyone with or without a camera, proving that it is not a camera or lighting issue, but an actual piece of equipment that is capable of, de of generating an intense light with a glare radius much larger than our sun, which we'll see demonstrated in the next set of images. The southeast facing weather cam in Red Dog, Alaska shows the sun coming down the screen over in the corner at a diagonal with a bulge coming out of the side. We know that our sun cannot do this. Whenever the sun has an unnatural contorted shape like this, an eclipse is occurring. The sun appears to be changing sizes dramatically. We know this is not just an illusion or a lighting trick because the sky and landscape flash from dark to bright as the sun erratically changes sizes. This glare is emanating from the black dot we just saw in the last video. Can you see the planet in this picture from the east-facing camera in Point Hope? And here is another hidden planet in this picture from the south-facing camera in Noatak. 
Only part of the sun halo is visible in the upper right corner of this image from the south-facing weather cam in Marshall, Alaska. Once a very rare thing, these sun halos are now an everyday occurrence because they happen during eclipses. We don't see these sun halos very often in the lower 48 states because the chemtrailing is even heavier here. Two different cameras in Kotzebue show a planet, a planet traveling westward through the sky. Here is an interesting video from the west-facing weather cam in Kotzebue. Watch the metal rooftop carefully. There is a slow-moving, bright reflection that takes two and a half hours tr to traverse the entire roof. Thus, we know it's not an aircraft. Almost four hours later comes our sun traveling in the opposite direction. Watch the sun's reflection on the rooftop. It's going the other direction. In Caltag, Alaska, the sky and landscape suddenly darken just before 1 p.m. on a cloudless day. More evidence of a solar eclipse. In Gamble, Alaska, we see the red crater-pocked planet rolling along. In Wales, Alaska, we see it again, only this time pay very close attention to the location of the sun in the upper left corner. Watch the sun closely as we move through this video because you're going to see another sun appear shortly. The sun is now above the top of the camera's field of view when another bright object appears. It is very likely that the concealment equipment failed because there were two separate celestial objects to try to conceal in, the, in this set of images. As you can see, the red planet is well hidden from sight now. The objects we have just viewed are part of an approaching celestial system. Many people ask when the system will make its closest pass to our Earth. A general indication of time is provided in the following screens of text. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe.